Many home improvement jobs, like installing a window or a medicine cabinet, require you to cut rather large holes in your wall. Now, it's a fairly easy job, but you want to avoid any unexpected surprises, like plumbing or electrical wires inside. So before I cut the large hole, I like to cut a small inspection hole. First, use an electronic stud finder to locate the wall studs. On our demonstration wall, I have drawn an outline for our hole. Now the key to cutting this out is this saw right here called a drywall saw. It's got a very sharp point on the end, so the saw acts kind of as a drill as well as a saw. Place the sharp tip of the saw on the line, and then angle the saw at about 45 degrees. Push the saw, wiggle it back and forth until it penetrates through the wall board. The angle cut prevents the cutout from falling inside the wall. If your inspection reveals a problem and you have to close up the hole, it's easy to do. Apply wallboard joint compound to the edges of the hole. Then press the cutout firmly in place. With a wider putty knife, smooth more joint compound on the surface. Now, we let this dry overnight, give it a light sanding, and skim on one more coat. You know, this is a great technique to use anytime you've got to cut a temporary hole in your wall, even if it's to find a plumbing leak or run electrical wires.